You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. Type five in the comments to subscribe to the show. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 264th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Seated behind the golden MVP microphone, where we're talking the business of plumbing. Hey, great to have you here on board with us tonight. Hey, if you're a plumbing business owner, you are in the right place. If you're looking to start a plumbing business, you are in the right place. If you're just uh, curious about plumbing business, you are in the right place. Hey, I'm looking forward to this episode tonight uh, because tonight we do the big reveal. Okay, we're going to reveal my new logo. We got Dan the Brand. Antonelli of Kick Charge In. All right, it's going to reveal our, our new logo, and, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about branding. All right. In fact, that's my question for you. All right. My question is on on a scale from one to ten, how important do you think branding is to your plumbing business? On a scale from one to ten, one being not so much, ten being yeah, it's, it's important. All right. Hey, let me know. Hey, it's great to have you on board here too. If you're watching live, please type live in the comments. All right, if you're watching replay, type replay. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on listening. And I hope you're watching here because I'm not sure if we got, I'm looking at my notes here. Our last episode, um, 263, what the, it's when I spoke the truth on about COVID-19, about what's going on and, and, and with everything. And it looks like, have they kicked us off Facebook? I love you, Laura. She's over here trying to put everything together. Okay. Facebook it, it, just changes constantly, and all right. we decided to change some other things. So yes, now we are live on Facebook where we're supposed to be. They're there? All right. Mm-hmm. So we're there. All right. We're there. It's good to have our Facebook here as well. But that, that refers to, you can also watch us live on YouTube, because we're over on the YouTube channel. We we're are on YouTube. YouTube channel. So yes. hey, you just want to, there's all other kinds of content there as well, so you can head, head over there as well. And uh, click the subscribe button. Hey, do me a favor, all right? Mm-hmm. I think it's like a red button you can, you can click Somewhere. and help us get the word out, all right? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's good to have you here. So yeah. make sure you heard that question. Well, Who do we have here? Oh, yes. um, on, a, on a scale from one to 10, okay. on a, on, that's what I have here. On a scale from one to 10, how important do you think branding is to your plumbing business? One being not so much, 10 being it's very important. Mm-hmm. So let me know. Hey, we're gonna bring uh, Dan the man in here shortly and we're gonna reveal what's going on. Mm-hmm. With our new brand, okay, I'm kind of excited about this. I know. Okay, I, you know, I'm excited about it. I don't know how you feel. You're, she didn't have, she didn't have time to feel. She's over here clicking around. Okay. I'm clicking around. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. How important is branding to your plumbing business on a scale from one to ten? Yes. All right. Let's let let us know here. Yeah. Okay. Um, don't, don't be shy. Coming in. Here we go. Um, okay. Kick charge is eleven. All right. So okay. It is. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Rick Harris is saying a ten. Hi, Rick. Yes. Um, hey, good to have you on board, Rick. What are you calling in from? Works Plumbing says ten. Ten. Of course. Um, Christy Tiarina. Who we just spent Who time just with uh, in, Route 66 Plumbing. Down in where? Amarillo by morning. Mm-hmm. We just, hey, we had to get out of Dodge. A- after the show, the last show and everything <laughs> going on, I blew a gasket. <laughs> All right. I said, we got to get out of it. We got to get out of Dodge. Mm-hmm. And so we wanted to go someplace warm mm-hmm. and someplace that felt a little free and, and where we had some friends. And so we just threw ourselves mm-hmm. upon BJ and Christy Terrina mm-hmm. and uh, had a great time down with them. Uh, Thanks, they, Kelly. They invite us in and uh, we got to hang out with them and work with their plumbing business. They got mm-hmm. cool things going on. They are going to own Amarillo. They so great vision, are going to. Yes. Great stuff going on. Spend time mm-hmm. with them. And then we got to spend some time with, um, then we drove up to the Choctaw. Choctaw. It wasn't in Choctaw, well, but, sort of Choctaw. But, but with uh, <laughs> some other uh, good friends. Mm-hmm. All right. We did. Brent, Brent and Leslie Harpool mm-hmm. of Champion, Champion Plumbing. Mm-hmm. All right. They were there. Cool brand. Mm-hmm. Okay, you getting a hint here that branding's maybe important. Yeah, yeah. And then we had a few other clients. And then we had some other clients fly in, fly in, fly in, fly in yeah, from um, San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Works Plumbing. In fact, I think they're in the house. They are in the house. We we have uh, Patrick and Margaret Basinga mm-hmm. of Works Plumbing. Yep. A great brand. All right. And I think we've shown their brand off. Mm-hmm. And then also came in from um, from Missouri. We had Ted and Mickey Thompson. That's right. Okay, I have top hat. 
plumbing. Pat plumbing. All right, yeah. we just had a good it time. Was a party. Good, good eats. Mm-hmm. All right, good friends. Yep, hanging out. It was very right. fun. Had a great time. Yeah, Thanks, we did. Guys. For so, doing that, so so how, how are we feeling about the brand here? Yeah, well, so like, yeah, everybody's seen, seen, seen a lot of tens, high um, numbers. Um, hundreds is okay. good. Hundred, um, yeah. John Hatch is saying seven. Hmm. Seven. Interesting, John, John. Hatch. The All John right. Hatch says seven. Okay. Well, I think we might have to change your mind after this episode. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, I I'm, I'll be clear. Branding's one of the, it is. There, I'm just gonna say it. I'm what? just gonna come out and say it. I know that, that Dan said. You know, he said eleven. And because he knows it, and that's what he does. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he's, the, he's the best in the business. That's why we recommend That's why he's on And that's why the Million Dollar Plumber used him. Mm-hmm. All right. All mm-hmm. right. He's the best. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to talk about that. Why? But branding is so important to your business. Right. Branding matters. Branding does um, matter. Especially today with all the noise that's out there, all the visual noise and all, everything going on, you know, all these. It, it's important, especially coming from where we come from as plumbers. Okay. We already kind of have a bad reputation as being plumbers. We're not very thought of well in the marketplace, Mm -hmm. okay? So it's very important to have a brand um, that that creates a positive emotion and grabs, grabs, you know, grabs the market. Yep. And so, you know, branding branding is very important. It's one of those things that really, I well, I, I don't work, talk about it right up front mm-hmm. in the academy. Right, we don't. Though, it, because it, it's just one of those weird things that people, well, because it's kind of an investment. It's kind of setting yourself up for the future. Right. Okay. It's definitely an investment. But but it's but it's a small investment to make for, for the return that it provides. Right. Um, really, I like to probably talk about it one of the first things mm-hmm. in the academy. Um, but it's just one of those humps to get over, right. you know, mm-hmm. of realizing how important. But once it is. they do, and I know I know we've got a lot of people um, watching that have gone through some rebranding, mm-hmm. um, and they would tell you it's a harrowing experience. But certainly glad they did it once it's all over. Well, it's one of those things that once you get it when it's done right, and you have it on a truck, all of a sudden you have your your customers seeing we see your trucks all over. We trucks. see your trucks everywhere. You have one truck. We see your trucks right. everywhere. <laughs> well, it's because you've been branded properly. Right. All right. Exactly. So you you, you kind of worked your way into the mind of the consumer. Mm-hmm. So it's it's big stuff. It is big and stuff. So hey, we started out well with you know the million dollar plumber. Okay. Um, I don't know where that came. We, we get asked hmm. how did you come up with that name? I don't um, know. I, I don't know. Genius Which is you something came fun. Up with. So I really was the part of the million dollar mark in sales is just a good number to hit. In fact, it's one of those round numbers. It's like a, you know, it's it's like, um, you know, a 300 batting average, you know, a perfect game, mm-hmm. you know, Mach 1, speed, you know, that kind of, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's, a, it's a round number, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. of, of something to hit. But it's also a good target that any small business, if they do the right things, Okay, if they go through the academy and learn the right things, mm-hmm, okay, right. <laughs> okay, the business side of things, it, it's it's a number you can easily hit. Mm-hmm. It's also a number that even though you'll go you'll go flying past that number, it's a number that when you're really just starting out in the truck, it's a number that can be believable. It's right. a good number to hit. So it's, that's it's how I came up with a million dollar million, million dollar, dollar plumber. plumber. But then we just kind of designed things ourselves, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we okay. Do. Because we didn't know where this was going. Right, we didn't. Right. Yeah. And, and so it was time. It was time mm-hmm. to actually go pro. Time okay. to go pro. Go pro so with the brand. So who else did, should we have do that? But so who Dan the who man. else? Mm-hmm. All right. Nothing. Yeah, but yeah. Dan the man. Dan. Dan the brand man. Dan the brand man. All right. <laughs> All right. How um, often should you rebrand? Let's have Dan. We'll make when well, Dan that's, comes that's on. a good question. Let's let's bring Dan on. You want to bring him on? And we'll, right a, now? we'll ask that question. Ooh, and there he is. There he Ooh. is. Imagine. Hey, that was fast. Hey guys, <laughs> in a rush, right here. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I'm rocking some rush today. Um, Tribute to the boys. Yes. Um, But yeah, it's great to be here. Great to see you guys again. And uh, man, it was fun working on your brand. I mean, we do so many service businesses, so it was a nice change of pace for us. And, and, you know, the team was really excited to not have to do another service business for now. (laughs) Really, oh, good. Gave them a break. So, so, um, yeah, and it was fun. You know, I really enjoyed the process and, and working with you guys and and i think we really came up with something pretty pretty fun and and i think more importantly it's it's you like it, it feels so much like it's you and that we captured you guys perfectly and 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 especially the likeness and everything like that that goes along with it so um yeah it was it was 
definitely a lot of fun to be a, be a part of that. And uh, I know you guys have been busy now changing everything and, and yes. getting it integrated and everything. And poor yeah. Laura has been uh, up to her eyeballs in re yes. redoing graphics Everything. and things like that. Which I told Dan, I said, I will never get after any of our clients ever again when they say, oh, I've got so much to do, we've rebranded. And I'm like, just get it done. What? What? How hard could it be? It, it, occasionally, uh, I hear a colorful word <laughs> come from her part of yeah. the office. And so yeah. I know that she's, she's going in and having to change everything up. It is. But, but it's, it's going to be great when it's done. But it was fun. Yes. And I, gonna, I also got to say, I, um, it was humorous. You know, Dan, Dan works a lot of companies and, and we'll get into, it is emotional working with the companies and going through it because we, we as the company owners have expectations right. and, and trying to find, you know, and working with creative and back and forth. And it's a process. It's a good process to mm -hmm. go through. It's, it's a process worth, worth going through because when you go through it with Kick Charge, um, it is sweet. I mean, it's done. Sweet. But, you know, so and we've we've talked with our clients uh, that have gone through with Kick Charge and mm -hmm. worked with them, and talked with Dan as he's working with them. But it was so fun, Dan, to see you. You were so nervous revealing this to Laura and I. <laughs> 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 I know, you know, you know, we we thought we nailed it, but there's been yeah. times that I thought we've nailed it and and uh, we had it. So you know, you you sometimes don't know, but I think we had a good sense of that we we captured, you know, really the essence of what you guys do and, and what makes you guys so special and so unique. And that's what every, any good brand should really do, right? It, it should sort of capture the essence. It should it should speak to someone who knows nothing all, at all about you mm -hmm. um, and give them some kind of impression, some kind of takeaway. Um, so when we worked on that and we tried to figure out, you know, what makes you unique and, and, and what is different about your offerings and, and how you work with people. Um, even just your personality for us was like so important for us to try to think about like, how do we capture his personality? Because he's not like, he's not like a, a, a real stuck up kind of guy. He's so down to earth. He's, he's really friendly. He's warm. He's um, hot. You know, there's that Dan. Well, I don't want, I don't want to talk about that, <laughs> but um, you know, he's, he's, you know, really has, his clients vested interest in their success mm. and and it's more about seeing them succeed and 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 that authenticity is really what we were trying to capture you know because it's it's so much about that like you're so you can't fake being authentic or you can do mm. it for like a little bit and then everybody realizes you're full of it right so <laughs> so like for us that was something that was important for us because you know i i just look at what you do and how you deal with your clients and and the inspiration and the guidance that you give to them and that's very unique you know a lot of people say that that's what they do and and their tactics and their methods are are not really i think um the right way to go about it and and i just feel like that's what we really try to distill into the brand for you when, when we when we worked on it <laughs> well, I think you captured it. i was mm. i wanted something that 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 gave a little showed a little bit of money or possibility fun you know I, I, and i like black and gold i mean so those kind of colors mm -hmm. but i also want it not to be, be taken so seriously because it is fun you know i tell guys hey, uh -huh. if i can do it you can do it right it's just knowing the right things to do it's not taking ourselves so seriously you right. know and it's you know that kind of yeah. thing so that's what i was hoping to capture <laughs> and i think you did i i, I personally did. like it it's fun mm -hmm. I, I like being associated with it so i, I think Chinese. it's time to reveal um mm -hmm. can you can you push the right yeah. buttons or oh, do the right button i know you I'm, have it i'm kind of yes. hoping all right lovely we'll see. something special here all for right, a reveal we'll you, you ready you ready mm -hmm. here it is there we go Ooh, you did the fire thing and everything I did the fire thing there it all is. all right there we go million dollar plumber there Richard we go Bainey. so i guess i'll take everybody's opinions you can give me <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down I don't, well we're not going to change it i'm so. not going to write I, <laughs> I like it <laughs> and uh it doesn't matter there we're lovely laura likes there. it <laughs> so we love it i just it's it does dan i think you did a really good job in capturing mm. his personality because richard is a really friendly guy i mean that's kind of one of the things you you notice right away about him. He's just and guys, he's naturally friendly, and it pisses me off more often than not because it's just the opposite of me. I mean, he's just everybody likes Richard, so I think you captured it really well. 
I, I think, yeah, I like You need it. sunglasses now. You really should have had your sunglasses well. with you for that. <laughs> oh, that's I, true. I, I didn't normally wear my. I've been wearing Wayfair since um, <sighs> since high school. So I like, I mean, it's yeah, kind of so my thing. I'm cool. glad you captured mm-hmm. that. You got you, you gave me a little bit of cool. Yeah, I just want totally you get cool. no, not not such a geek, but uh, <laughs> you know a little bit of cool there. But I think you you captured it um, very well. Yeah, I think it looks awesome, amazing. So yeah, Dan, and then we got the TM, got the trademark. That's always important, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, beautiful. There it is. Yeah, and then we just figured out like sort of using this as sort of the the template to do all the other graphics you know that, that that you know you guys have for you know the potty talk live and and all the other the academy and, and all those other things too so we were mm-hmm. trying to anticipate that as well is like ha, ha, how will this translate across the other platforms and and the, the brands that need to live underneath this million dollar plumber brand so mm-hmm. um that was something also that we wanted to make sure that we would be able to leverage that and integrate them and i think that you know you laura i don't know if you're done integrating all those um <laughs> no, other graphics on all I'm those, not. those other platforms but um <laughs> You know, they're all done too, so that's that's pretty good. Yes. Yep. Now it'll be great. Did, did a whole package, and, and Kick Charge does just that, um, guys. It's it's a whole process that, that it goes you through. You know that they they send you through. Um, you heard Dan kind of explain a little bit about you know how he looked at it's very simple what he did did with with my brand. Uh, he does the same thing with your brand. It's not not so you don't blend in with the other plumbers. What's unique about about your plumbing business and about you? Because they want to capture you that that emotion. And so it's it's a it's a whole process that you go through. Uh, in fact, you know, I want you to check it out, guys. Branding is extremely important. Okay, so if if you want to check out more about Kick Charge, okay, mm-hmm. there's no high pressure. They're not pushy people. Um, you can you can see you know some of the other work with the other plumbing companies. If you've been watching here, you can see some of our clients have. That, that have used them. Um, we, we've shown mm-hmm. other work that, it, that he's done and their team, it's a whole team. They've been around for 20 years. It's not a fly-by-night operation, okay? A um, lot of experience there, okay? Um, you can check, uh, it, you, uh, type brand in the comments, mm-hmm. okay? Or you can go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash kick charge. Kick charge. All right, kick charge mm-hmm. um, to, to learn more yeah. and check it out and highly recommend that you do. Um, you know, we're. Oh, you even got the yeah, you got the new logo. She yeah. she, she, she she did that right above here. Yeah. There All it right. is. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a new Potty Talk Live logo. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I, know, I like it. You know, I sit down and that's part of our conversation. You know, I wanted, you know, I you know, I wanted to have a kind of a fun, you know, some serious that this is serious business coaching. You know, we, we take a, we take your plumbing business seriously, but not we want it to be fun. And I like, you know, I know like my, the picture, you captured my little personality, you know, there. Um, and it also had someone say, you know, it looks like a, a Lego guy, which I kind of like, because it's not so serious, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, the Lego, whatever, your Lego face. Because um, mm-hmm. we, ha- we yeah. had some, you did one where it had more of my face, but it seemed like, uh, to me, it just didn't fit. Um, it was taking myself too seriously. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So we're I, not yeah. that serious. And, and that part process too, like we said, we, you know, you look at the competitors, you look at what they're doing, and 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 again, like I don't, you know, we, we technically are terming them competitors, but I don't think that any of them do anything close to what you do. But it's still good to see what others in the space are are, are sort of putting out there and, and what their message looks like, and and um, you know, a lot of it's very very cold, and and um, you know, a lot of it just feels like. Um, they're just trying to get you in, take your money, and then like not really actually delivering anything of value. And and that's like totally the opposite of what I feel like you guys do for every one of your clients. And 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 so, you know, it is always important to look at what the other competition is doing, see what they're using, see what their colors are, see what their, their brand strategy is. Uh, but you know, like I said, a lot of them feel very cold and very impersonal and, and that's you know, absolutely not who you guys are. And, and, and also just your approach and your methodology, I feel like is just so much more real and, and the value that you bring to the table, um, is, is very different. So, I mean, I, have seen a lot of people that, that do, you know, say they do coaching and, and it just never feels to me, um, anything at all, like what you guys do. So <laughs> that's what we were trying to get into the, uh, you know, kind of into that message. Um, so, you know, again, let's say you're at a trade show, Richard, and you know, you hand out your business card to someone and they never heard of you. 
Like, what's the takeaway? What are they feeling about you? Like, is this guy like just, you know, in it for the money or is he in it for my success? And, and, and that's really a lot of what any brand should do is really try to help control that first impression. So whether you're rolling up in a truck and, or that you're stopped at a light and they see that truck and they don't know anything at all about this plumbing company, but what they see on the side of that van, well, what, what is the takeaway? What do they feel about you? So, you know, any good brand is really designed to sort of control that first impression and to make sure you're leading in with something that's, that's positive. Um, so, you know, we can do so much to control all those impressions on all these different touch points. Um, and then what I love about what you do is you're helping these guys on everything after as far as when they ring that doorbell and, and how do they show that, that brand promise and how do they live up to that brand promise. Um, and when you have those two things connecting, that's when it's a home run, you know, because you look as good as what you really do. And you ring that doorbell and you, you nail that, that service call and, and the people love you and you leave and you know that you've just created brand ambassadors now because you, you did a great service and, and they're really super happy. And, and they already thought something about you just based on all those impressions that they had received, whether they saw your website or the truck, maybe they saw the guy in uniform. So controlling that and, and basically countering bias is the other big piece of it, right? Because they yes. all, they're afraid of who's coming to their home. They're afraid of contractors in general, right. you know, like you could need uh, a whole new water heater or, or you could need just fixing a tiny pipe. Like, I don't know, like, that's not my world. Like, I just know the thing's leaking, just fix the thing for me. But, right. you know, so, <laughs> right. so leading in with being honest and authentic and, and having them feel like you're gonna take care of them and treat them right that's all what the brand should be delivering. Amen. Right. Guys, Amen, huge nuggets of gold right there. Mm -hmm. In fact, the whole gold mine. Mm -hmm. You know, Dan, I, I spend a lot of time and energy talking with guys. Look, I'm proud to be a plumber. In fact, if you ask me, I'm still the best plumber there ever was and ever is going to be, you know. But, you know, so I get it <laughs> when guys say, me. well, I, the plumbing's good. Well, you, that, you still got to deliver the good plumbing. Mm -hmm. But the first impression, that, that look is extremely important because no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call the plumber. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are scared. They are afraid. They're worried about spending money. And so if we pull up in just a truck, you know, and it could be just a regular truck and it just says Joe's Plumbing, mm -hmm. it, it now feel I don't know if I trust that. Right. And we, we, so we, we kind of been conditioned to think, well, that says that I'm cheap. Well, if that, that says you're cheap, that also means your work is cheap. Mm -hmm. And so this, this impression of pulling up in a truck, um, I know we were just talking before we went on, you just, um, I can't wait to see it, another one of our clients mm -hmm. um, that, that you're working for, um, uh, right. Alex, yeah. Alex and Nicole mm -hmm. um, out of uh, Vancouver mm -hmm. with Red Seal Plumbing. Red Seal and just plumbing. the idea, of, I, I can't wait to see that. that, I that you, yeah. know, you tell me what the truck is going to look like. Mm -hmm. That pulls yeah. up. If just one sweet. truck, mm -hmm. it just says it makes the customer feel like uh, this is a real company, right. and I can trust these people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. it makes and, a difference. And the other part too, Richard, too, like we we talk about is you know the concept and the idea of of you know winning the battle on the street. So so as you think about impressions. You know, a lot of guys mistake the vehicle and think that that's a call to action. Well, it's not necessarily a call to action because unless I need plumbing right that second, I'm not What's doing it? anything. Right. But will I remember the name when it comes time to need the service? So would you rather be Googling, you know, plumbing repair New Jersey or would you rather just be Googling the name of the company? You know, so so keep in mind how important that the vehicle especially is because I, I want to win that battle out on the street. I want to have everybody remember that particular brand. So when it's time for service, I don't need to be relying on thousands and thousands of dollars of pay-per-click. They're just going to be typing my name in at that point. So, mm -hmm. so people, you know, I think they spend so much money on pay-per-click and they kind of forget the obvious as far as, well, what, what would brand building be doing? I'll tell you a real quick story of a client that, that we rebranded. He had, um, you know, uh, the calls all tracked when they, when they came into the call center. So he knew mm -hmm. exactly how many phone calls he was getting before the rebrand and after. So he had one, year's, one year worth of data before. He had 83 phone calls in one year, which is awful, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a white van nice. with like final letters on it, right? Mm. The, the year after, one year after, 1,000 phone calls Ooh. from the truck wrap. So right. 10X basically, mm -hmm. 10X. So, so like that's when you know it's really, really working. And think about all the revenue generated from 1,000 additional phone calls essentially. Right. Like it's 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 absurd. So like 
you know, you can't beat the medium, but the problem is, is most guys don't understand the medium and most are the, most of the raps you see out on the road are actually awful. So, right. so making True. sure you invest properly in it is, is, is really where you yield the, the biggest dividends on, on that. So. Oh yeah. It's such a huge opportunity in our industry guys for, for a one man yeah. truck to look like, you know, they are the, the business in, the, in that town. It, it's it, the possibility is so there, you know, and it's an easy, you know, th I think of it, I thought of it this way. When, when we'd go out to eat, we, we'd choose a place that looked real clean and had a nice sign, you know, and, and that food must be really good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where we wouldn't go to the hole in the wall place, though right, the food may right. be just as good, but it's like the first, the, that first impression does, 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 just doesn't hit us. Right. And I, I bet for a lot of, you know, you guys out there, mm -hmm. you, you think kind of the same way, right. you know? Yeah. And that's certainly how our yeah. customers are thinking about us. Mm -hmm. You know, the yeah. plumbing may be the best. Hey, hey, and, Dan. And what's great, just going oh. back, I'll, I'll answer in a second, but like what's great mm -hmm. about the opportunity also is the fact that most of the competitors don't understand branding, right? So, right. so, so it's not like, like, listen, if every one of my clients were within 15 miles of my office, like it, it would almost be bad because, they, you'd have really great brands all in one community. It would be almost harder to stand out. But the fact is, is like every time we do a competitive analysis of, of our clients and they say, these are our biggest competitors. And I look at the stuff and I'm like, this is the biggest competitor in your market, really? <laughs> and, and it's like, so that's the hidden opportunity. Like that's where you can kill it because these guys aren't even maximizing their opportunities. They've got a fleet of trucks, let's say, and they all look like look look like garbage. Mm -hmm. So like what would happen to your business if you had the best branded business in the area? And and you can see how that starts taking hold and how you start just gaining that that presence in that market just by doing that part right. So um so I know we had yeah. a question there like yes. um mm -hmm. how often should you rebrand? Yeah. Um you shouldn't need to rebrand very often at all, as mm -hmm. long as you do it right the first time. Um, yeah. So most companies don't do it right the first time, and that necessitates the rebrand later on. Um, but you know, we've done—I don't know—we're we're probably close to fifteen hundred brands that we've done, and I don't think that we've ever really gone back and rebranded somebody that we've branded the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know. Knowing who you are today is important, but knowing where you want to be in the future is also equally important. So you think about brands from that perspective as well. You want it to represent who you are today, but you also want it to have the longevity that in 15 years, it still makes sense for you to be branded um, that way as well. So that's all part of like making sure we have a good understanding of what your goals are and what you plan to do and, and making sure that that brand will will last and and also just trying to avoid things that are very trendy like right now that may sort of look have it look dated um later on like the swoosh like years ago everyone had a swoosh every logo had mm -hmm. a swoosh and then it's yeah. like okay you know then five years later it's just like you know they all look the same so um you know trying to avoid really really current trends sometimes also may pigeonhole you to a very specific time period yeah i would say I, dustin i would push you brother that if that if you came up with the, the name and brand yourself, by the way, if it's named after you, it's time to change your brand. Mm -hmm. Never, I mean, <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> you know, if it's named after, which we're all proud of, and I understand the guys, and Dan, as plumbers, we love to say, I, I'm so proud of my work, I put my name on it. Well, that just made you, you know, um, so if it's smaller. It, smaller, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dustin, if, 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 if you came up with a brand, or it's your name, or if the local vinyl company came up with the design or the brand or if you if you know even if you pulled some something offline you know some stock image or that kind of stuff whatever you did if you've done any of those kinds of things or if it's just vinyl you know vinyl letters um it you need to change your brand okay it'll do wonders mm -hmm. you, you'll be amazed uh, how much more your phone will ring just by doing that okay and um dan i, I call these the vans when they get all branded out right i call them dude magnets you know, because one, one of the big concerns with our plumbing business is we can't, there's not enough guys. We can't get enough guys. It's amazing mm -hmm. um, once you have a, a nice van and it's all branded out, how many guys want to come work for you now? Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. the boss is in the house. Hey, Larry Enright. Larry Enright, 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 Enright hey, Larry. the boss, mm -hmm. has a question. Do you agree with less is more? Yeah, I, yeah. I would say, you know, the essence of any brand you know, you want to try to distill it into its purest form, um, if possible. So, 
Um, you're always keeping in mind, first of all, the, the most important application typically is the vehicle. So you want to make sure that it's going to um, be legible at a distance, that it's uh, easy to be uh, reproduced on different mediums because like you know you're going to get it embroidered you're going to you're going right. to get a silk screen it's going to have to be on the top of your website mm -hmm. so you've got to have a plan for how all of those executions are going to transpire and make sure that it will work across the medium that's typically where you see a lot of problems is that they haven't thought about how it needs to work in certain mediums and, and then you're sort of hamstrung by it uh, from that perspective you see a lot of issues even the way mascots are illustrated uh, most most other companies or, or people that try to illustrate mascots do not understand how it needs to apply on a larger scale. So you see some issues with how it renders from a distance and how it becomes almost like a blob because it's not rendered you know, properly. But, but certainly, yeah, you know, the idea of trying to have it be very much distilled is, is you know, usually something that we, you know, we, we try hard to make sure that it's going to work on, on, on that level. That's good. All right. Hey, another question here from Anthony. If you rebrand, what happens to your old listing on Google if there was a company name change? We can speak to that a yeah. lot. Yeah. So, Laura can. so it's funny, for, you know, Anthony, I can speak to this too because after 22 years, I rebranded and renamed our agency, right? So, I mean, it's oh, like one right. of the things there is that if I can do it, like then right. certainly you guys can do it as well. But I rebranded and we had those same concerns. So we had literally 20 two years worth of Google history um, before we used to be called graphic designs. That was the name those graphic D dash signs. Uh, so we were worried about that as well. Like what's going to happen on the SEO perspective. Mm -hmm. And, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, there's a whole method to doing that. You know, you do all the redirects, every single page gets redirected to your new page. You know, you're going to be able to carry over your Google reviews um, and the rankings will follow as long as you do it properly. I mean, for mm -hmm. us, it was, 18 or 1900 pages that we had to redirect. So it was, it was a pretty extensive process, uh, but we really didn't miss a beat as far as that's, that's concerned. Um, you know, so um, doing that, obviously changing over your social media, letting Facebook know those things are fairly straightforward uh, mm -hmm. to get that stuff to carry over. Yeah, we can. It's a piece of cake. It is a, it is a piece of cake. <laughs> it's, don't, don't let that stop you from rebranding. Well, I mean, it, you got to do the right process. You got to go through the process. Yeah, it's, it's but just it, a thing. But it's, it doesn't mess you up. Oh, no. no. <laughs> you know, and um, it just has to it has to be methodical and you, right. you've got to make sure that you, you know, don't miss anything. But, yeah. And a, and a lot of and, and don't don't get caught with this. Um, uh, I, 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 yes. the, the thing that the guys I don't want to put a bad. A lot of guys will say, well, my customers know me by this. I'm going to lose all my customers. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're not going to lose any customers. Uh, in fact, you're going to wind up gaining so, customers. Don't don't be so blinded by your own whatever. Mm -hmm. And that the rollout, there's a methodology to doing that successfully, you know, mm -hmm. notifying the existing customers, right. you know, having them be aware, letting them know what the change is, why we changed, having them feel partly responsible for the change, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a whole thing that we do when we do a brand launch that makes it very seamless. And, and you know, a rebrand is, is obviously a little bit easier than changing the actual name. But even the rebrands, it's important to let the customers know that they're going to start seeing some changes and why mm -hmm. those changes transpired. To almost thank them for that and to have them really feel like a part of that. Um, Being so part of the process, we right. Do right. Communications, yeah, and, and you know, we do usually do direct mail, we do the email marketing, and then we do the social to, to have them know the changes they're going to start seeing. Because, you know, maybe there's one old truck and one new truck out on the road and people right. may be, you know, confused mm -hmm. about that and letting them know about you know what's happening with with that. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay something, Richard, in the, in the chat here that's just uh, talking about like what you said about you know how powerful the rebrands are and and what some of those results may be. Th this is mm -hmm. the page that I think I showed you once before that had some of the stats. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, as far as the good one. Yeah, yes. Are, yes. Are concerned. So I just want to paste that up there if anybody wants to check that out. But yeah, guys, be sure to check this out. Pin that and we'll pin, we'll pin you it know, to the you top. See the ROI. Um, on, on some of these things and, and they're they're just you know it's crazy stuff to see and it's just just awesome to, to feel part of that too oh, to know yeah. how our work is impacting so many lives as far as you know the company's ability to hire more people like you mentioned to recruit more people you know yeah. that's a big thing like oh I can't get anybody to work for you well does it look like I want to work for you, you know? exactly that's right. why would anyone want to work for you <laughs> right you know right. So, Hey, so Dwayne, Dwayne, yeah, Dwayne, Dwayne Good Pastor is asking a question. Hey, brother, good question here. Hey, how, how do you know when your company needs to needs rebranding? Mm. 
So, you know, again, some of the things that, you know, we mentioned earlier, just, you know, it still apply, right? Does it, does it represent who you are today? You know, is that really a representation? If you handed that business card out to someone at a, at a party, they don't know you from Adam and they look at your card, what do they think about your company? What does it say about your company um, to someone who knows nothing at all about you? Um, and does it speak to the level of service that you provide? If you can answer honestly, like, oh my God, when I hand out my card, people, they assume I have an amazing company, then, then maybe everything's all good. But right. if you hand out your card and, and people aren't left with a positive brand expectation or a positive um, idea in terms of what your deliverable might be, then, then you gotta you gotta think seriously about whether or not it's, it's time to change. And if your van blends in, like I always sort of yeah. use the term, most Blank. companies are blanded. They're not yeah, branded. I love that term um, you have. I love, you, I love that. So, <laughs> so, so you know, if, if your band looks like everybody else's and there's nothing mm -hmm. unique, there's no characteristics about it that caused me to take a second look, you know, that's another thing to really think about. You know, does your brand work very well on that actual canvas? Um, and is it communicating the things that make you unique in your market? And if it's not, then that's when you got to give it a hard look and you got to yep. say, you know. Mm -hmm. I would also add to that. Um, that as far as business speaking, you know, as far as selling the company, which we all, we all want to set our businesses up. You may not want to sell it, but it needs to be set up to sell. The business itself needs to be set up to be sold, okay? Um, having a good brand actually will add uh, multiples, meaning um, mm -hmm. you know, how much more valuable um, your business your, is. Your business is. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it does, it, we think it doesn't matter that, I mean, but it's amazing. It does. All of a sudden, it's worth more because it looks nicer. It mm -hmm. feels like you know, unique yeah. and Right. Definitely. Hey, um, and right. Nick Marcella has a question. Nick's one of our clients. Um, my wife sure. would like to know why is it hard to That's brand it. initials? That's a good one. So good question. So um, you know, initial based brands are really the hardest to gain traction in any given market. Um, there isn't any specific visual that goes with the initials. So like when you you know if it's J P Plumbing, let's just say, mm -hmm. well well where do I go with that? to have people remember JP plumbing. What am I what what's the best I can hope for here? Maybe to put like a a, a water drop and and a pipe wrench, but how is that unique to you specifically? Um, and it's also there's no inferred brand promise, right? So, who do I think does a better job? JP plumbing or thumbs up plumbing mm -hmm. or plums up plumbing, right? right. Plums up who, plumbing. Who, who's mm -hmm. better? You know, who who do I instinctively think does a better job? So, so names that, that speak to an inferred brand promise always will perform better. Um, and you'll spend so much money trying to have people remember your initials. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if you had a name, you know, like, like I mean, we, I'm, I'm biased because we named Plums Up. Right. Um, but like <laughs> that kind of name with a big thumb on the side of his van mm -hmm. has gained so much traction in his market and he's grown from zero to, I, I don't know, I think he's, he's over a million or, or he's close to it right yep. now, right? Um, you know, in what, a year and a half, two, two years? Like, and, and how did he do that? Like, you think he would have done that as fast if it was, uh, you know, KW plumbing? Like, right. mm -hmm. it just doesn't speak to anything. And it also doesn't doesn't um, evoke a visual. Like I'm so excited about the brand we're doing um, for for Red Seal because like it already evokes a visual. Like you could cover up like what we did for them. Like you cover up their name, and you almost already know what the name of the business is, um, which is which is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. um, and and you know when you see what we did on the side of the van, like it's gonna be really right. hard to forget well, what that looks like. Can I jump in here? I don't mean to cut you off it because I'm excited. It's, it's one of our clients. Oh. Well, there's there's yeah. plums there's up. up. There's plums up. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You can see that creates an emotion. Mm -hmm. You're speaking about Red Seal. That they're out of Vancouver, and seals are big in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So emotionally, it means they're, you know they're, they're they understand the seal. So intuitively, I understand the seal. And Red Seal is a um, a moniker that's giving to a, a good quality, uh, quality yeah. trade organization. Right. So in the minds of the consumer, Red Seal, that means something, quality. 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 And then with yeah. having it, and then playing on the seal yeah. gives it a mascot, which people love. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, they, they, that creates an emotion. It, yeah. It's just a cool, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's why this branding thing is so important. I know we can be so proud 
you know, of, you know, RJB plumbing. That, those are my initials. Mm -hmm. Well, that doesn't mean anything out there. Imagine right. your truck's just driving around. Mm -hmm. And it could be right. the fanciest, it could be the fanciest uh, truck wrap. But RJB yeah. means nothing to no one except me. I mean, I've had, uh, I've had clients who've used um, and have spoken with others who use like their kids' initials, mm -hmm. you know, which emotionally right. means something to them. Right. But to the consumer, right. that means nothing, right. you know? Yeah. I, I just had to do that again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I, I love this stuff. There I could talk all night about the branding stuff <laughs> with, with Dan here. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, wait, honey, it does look look at look in the camera, and I mean, it does look like okay. you. Okay. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you are going to have to wear your beard like. <laughs> I got to wear. <laughs> you have to wear your beard like that for the rest of forever your forever now. now. <laughs> okay, which is fine. Hey guys, this branding this branding thing with your plumbing business business is extremely important. Mm -hmm. uh, take it seriously. Uh, even though, even if you've been you've you've been you know successful with what you have right now, um, you know consider you know just just check it out. It is extremely uh, I can't I can't stress enough how important the brand of our plumbing business, um, how it helped us sell it for more, mm -hmm. based on just the brand. Right, and then so, Dan just, went and killed it. And so. it, yeah, well, Dan changed it up because they <laughs> they wanted something a little different. They wanted to make it theirs, which right. is fine, mm -hmm. right? I disagree. But <laughs> no, it's fine. But it's still, it's still, it's still one of the best in the area. It okay. Is. Okay. Uh, um, but check, but check it out. Type coat, uh, not coach. No, uh, type uh, brand in brand the comments. In the I comments. want to make sure you get this right. Brand mm -hmm. in the comments, or go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash kick charge. The name of the company. Honey, it looks like we mind. have to fire one of our clients because they keep calling us mom and dad. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Thais, you're out. Oh, Sorry. Right. <laughs> it looks like dad. Whatever. All right. I don't think I don't so. That, yeah, I don't know what that means, but okay. Yeah, okay. Well, well because we're substantially older than most of our much. clients, and so on our, we've on been our last mom and dad. last trip together with everybody, they they, they and, started calling us mom and dad. And we had but, to put a kibosh but the on lovely that Laura nonsense. Cut that out yeah. rather quickly. <laughs> cut okay. that nonsense right. out. Um, we, let's we see, still what, got I had it. one. I see Jeremiah Franz had a. I don't any, know if it was any a more question questions or, here? He said, I wish I could post my truck here. I didn't get advice and did almost everything you guys are suggesting for my first self branding. Hey, we so all hey, we, we all did. did it, Jeremiah. I don't want guys to feel don't feel bad. Nope. The intent of this is not to have you feel bad. Mm -mm. But a lot of us guys did was, you know, we put our name on the truck and then we put we listed all the stuff that we do. Right. <laughs> all this, yeah. and we had our phone numbers and websites and and license numbers and all these numbers and all the, all this stuff all over the place, which when it goes down the street, it just blends in and everything else. What right. happens is is your customer or, or potential customer sees your truck and your mind quickly says, uh, "That's too, no, much. No. too much, I don't, you know, too, too much, much there." Information. Okay, so, we, we all do it. And our okay. very first, very 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 first one, we it was a clip art that we hacked off of. Yeah, we, you know, something online. So we, we made we all, all mistakes. Did it. We all right? did it. So, but, but you need, uh, you but need get Dan with, the uh, brand man. Yeah, get with kick charge here mm -hmm. and uh, get set straight. You'll be glad you did. All right, it makes a world of a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Dan. Dan. Love it, man. Thank you for all your good work. We love it a awesome. lot. Thanks. There it is. Yeah, it looks cool. I want. Yep. We gotta get shirts made. Like, I need some swag now, man. <laughs> well, I know. We'll, we'll have it coming. We, <laughs> we're waiting. We had, we had some things. We've been waiting. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to have the pits that we have on the cups and the, yep, the hats, hats and the. Yep. We'll get so, the swag, and you'll be be the first. Yep, you'll definitely okay. be the first. All Absolutely. right. Well, thanks, Dan. We really appreciate it. Uh, you're appreciate welcome, guys. It was a lot of fun. Appreciate okay. the opportunity, and uh, glad I, you know, helped shape your future too. I mean, that's that's Absolutely. exciting too for us. Awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. All right, man. Thanks for being on. Take care, brother. All right. See ya. Take care, guys. There we go. <clears throat> Dan, Have the a brand look at man, that, Antonelli. Hey, there we go. The new uh, mm -hmm. up here in the right over here. There oh, doesn't it look good? Yeah, doesn't look, look fun? good. I like it. Looks okay, amazing. it's just fun. It is okay? very fun. Hey, th th this What's is our brand, love? but uh, your brand. Your mm -hmm. brand's the most important brand, okay? Right. And uh, take it seriously. Mm -hmm. I know it has nothing to do with plumbing, uh, but your business really has nothing to do with plumbing, <laughs> okay? Right. <laughs> All right. It really, <laughs> the sooner really you doesn't. learn that, the better it, it'll right. be. Okay. Um, Kevin Holbrook says, just do it. And I, I do you, believe um, Holbrook Plumbing did, um, Dan did his as well, if yes. I remember correctly. Ha has a so, real nice brand, mm -hmm. you he know, does. and he didn't look bad. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin, your stuff didn't look bad. And a lot of you guys don't, it doesn't look bad. Mm -hmm. It's just a different level between, you know, pro 
and amateur. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Rob says everyone thought we had a 50 truck operation when we started with only one truck. Yeah. Right. I see your trucks everywhere. That's, that's what happens mm -hmm. because the mine now, you're, you're just driving around. Well, even with one truck, you know, the mines of the customers, they, they're picking it up. Right. And exactly. See before they need, oh. before they need a plumber. All right. Hey, Jeremiah was saying he did all the right stuff. Well, golly. That's well, good. well, you're the one. <laughs> All right, Jeremiah You're the is the one. Guy here for sure. <laughs> Jeremiah, where All right. were you? So when we imagine, started? imagine if you had it done right. Okay, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to bring it because I know. Look, Jeremiah, I'm, I'm proud of my stuff too. I was very proud mm -hmm. of my brand and people. We had a cool name, Attaboy, and so Attaboy. we we had a good response. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was a world of difference. Yes. Um, it, it took it up a few notches mm -hmm. from where where we came <laughs> from to when we had it had it done yep. professionally. Okay, look at that and highly there, recommend baby. it. Yeah. Yeah. There we that go. was a lot of fun. Well, um, we got the reveal. Okay, so there it is. Thank you for joining us on this reveal. On the reveal and again, show. Yes. hey, check it out. Check out Kick Charge. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, yeah, I'm pushing you that way because yep. it, it mean it mean a great difference to your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. All right, if, if you're looking to actually, you know, really go go pro, there's a difference. There, there is. is a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, again, they're easy to talk to. You can just see if it's right for you. All right. Type brand in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash Kick charge. kick charge, kick charge. All right, and check, and them check out. it out. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, yes, um, yes, I think it's about time to uh, wrap Wait, things up. Before so. I let you go, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I am here to help you. I, I've mentioned it a few times here. Mm -hmm. My success academy. Okay, <laughs> teach the. Coaching, the classes, it's all everywhere. right. We got uh, coaching, all right, mm -hmm. and we also have a uh, have a network in there as well. Okay, we community. Community. So, so there we go. Right now, 14 day free trial too. Can't Simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success and get your free 14 day trial to the Success Academy. Music. All right, I hear the music. All right, hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things and to look sharp. All right, come like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.